everyone welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be here with you today happy tuesday i hope the start of your week has been amazing i hope your entire weekend was great i hope you're just having a great day today for you i have another dollar tree haul it's just a bag of this and that um it's just from going shopping and picking up whatever my heart said i should pick up um i have stuff for my wedding i have I have stuff. I just have stuff. So let's get into it. Oh, and at the end, I have some happy mail that I get to share with you guys too. I haven't opened it yet. I cut it open just now to be able to share with you, but um, I haven't opened it yet. So stick around to the end and see some of my happy mail. Okay. So first of all, I picked up a gift bag because I just thought it was too cute not to. So it's just going to go in my party bag st stash. Um, it's got the fake glitter look. It says party time. There is just some sparkle accents on it. So the whole thing isn't sparkly. The stripes go along the side. This one doesn't have the glitter piece, but yeah. So just one of their cute little gift bags. I mean, I'll probably put one of Lorelai's gifts in here because I thought it was too darn cute not to pick up. So grabbed that. Braxton needed another composition notebook for school that was not on his school supply list. So um, I just picked him up another extra one so that he can toss that into his backpack or locker or however he's doing it at school. Um, math said they needed a composition notebook, but it wasn't on their school supply list. So he took one from science, moved it over to math. So now he needs another one for science. I picked up for my wedding one gray tablecloth. I picked this up because I want to do a mock-up table of what I've picked up for my centerpieces and see if I like the way they look. And so I figured, since I don't have really gray linens, um, that's the color that my linens are going to be, I picked this up to lay it down on a table and then I'm going to piece together all of my centerpiece items that I have bought over the course of the past probably year, year and a half is when I started buying stuff. Um, figure out what works, what doesn't, if I need more, if I need to change it. And so I just picked up one for that. Um, my husband and I did book our venue. Well, I have to sign the contract today and get it sent back over to them, but we're booking a venue, so I'm so excited. And they're gonna be round tables, which is what I wanted. And um, I'm gonna have gray linens that they provide. And so super excited about that. And since I'm talking about the wedding, I also picked some of these up because I don't always see the bigger ones um, and I know that I'm going to want to make some signs like a bar sign and that I don't know sign in I don't know I don't know all the signs I need but I picked up four two of the eight by or ten by eights and two of the eight by eights because I really do like the look of the square one they didn't have any eight by ten so the taller ones the only one they had was cracked and so I didn't pick that one up and so I'm going to do some research on kind of what signs I plan to make for the wedding, but I plan to make them myself, very DIY wedding. And I knew I wanted some of these frames. And so when I saw them, I grabbed them because I don't always see the big ones. If you pick these up, remember there's a protective film on them and you have to rip the whole thing off. So it starts down here at the corner on the bottom and then it rips off the whole thing all the way to the back, I think. So that keeps it from getting scratched. So I'm not ripping them off yet because I still have just under a year until my wedding and I don't want to scratch them all up. But grab those for the wedding. <coughs> Sorry guys, the cough still hasn't fully left. Also for the wedding, I grabbed another box of spoons. So I found, they only had like two boxes. I picked up one of them because I'm putting a stash away for the wedding. So I'm gonna do two boxes of forks, two boxes of spoons, and I think a box of knives, maybe two. I can't remember how many I picked up already. And then if I don't end up using them for the wedding, cause like, we don't know our caterer yet. We don't know what we're going through for food. We might bring the food. We might do a food truck. We might just cater it in, I don't know. But I wanna have plasticware just in case cause that's my plan is to use plasticware for the wedding and I wanna make sure I have enough. And like I said, if I don't use them for the wedding, I have a lot of parties so they will get used. Um, and then I'll just have a nice stash of really good plasticware for parties anything else for the wedding this is kind of for the wedding so i've been going through my wedding books um, and making plans and marking pages and doing all the things and since one of my colors is rose gold i thought these would be fun another way to kind of mark pages and stuff um, as i am going through my wedding planning book and all the all the wedding planning stuff so i picked oops i was trying to toss it to my wedding planner which is right there but it went to the floor instead um so that's what I got that for. I also picked these up. I've never seen these ones. They are gel pens, but in metallic ink. 
um, by the Zebra brand. <coughs> they are <clears throat> a gold one and a silver one, but the gold one doesn't look like it's too, um, I don't know the right word, harsh of a gold. Is it like a softer -y gold? I don't know. Like we have like, this is my Happy Meal, like gold and then like almost like a brassy gold. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I thought these were fun. I'm going to try them out. Um, it says writes on dark paper, ideal for creating and crafting. It's a medium point, 0 0.08 mm, uh, metallic ass assorted ink. So it's the color of the pen. So I thought that was fun. I'm going to give those a try in my wedding planning thingies. I think that's it for wedding planning. Not to guarantee that, but I think. All right, I did pick these up for a friend of mine. I am working on getting her a package sent out. I went back and looked at our messages, Jen, and you had put any of the bubble baths, so I found all of the bubble baths at one store um, because the prideful items are like just kind of still being out at some of my stores, but not like a lot anymore. But if you haven't found the bubble baths, they come in the groups of three, but they make the rainbow. You get bergamot and coriander. You get orange and mango. That one sounds delicious. This one down here, I think, says vanilla. Ten, I can't tell all the way. I think it's Tahitian vanilla or something like that, but it's really hard to see it. Oh, vanilla de ta, ta, Tahiti. Tahitian vanilla. That was a lot of work. This one over here is sage and citrus, green tea and honey and lavender and sandalwood so i thought those were really cute and i have a friend searching for all the prideful stuff so she's gonna get those um i picked up some more socks i've already hauled these but i wanted to have a couple more of these in my stash i was actually gonna send them to everything mari two of them but she did find them so i was excited for her because i saw that in one of her recent hauls um if you're not following everything mari you should she is amazing, um, but I did see that she recently found them. So I picked up an extra set of the Ninja Turtles, the Mountain Dew for her. And then I picked up an extra set of the Pop-Tarts for some Happy Mail as well. And since um, I saw that she found them already, I will just probably gift them somewhere else because that's why I want a stash of these socks anyway, is to gift them out and about because I think that they're such a fun gift to add into a gift basket. Same with these little guys. I think there's one more in here though, let's see. Oh, another pair of socks. I got the Stitch socks. I'm gonna give these to Lorelei because she loves Stitch. Whenever we see Stitch items anywhere, she points it out. So I figured why not grab her a cute little pair of socks. So those are for her. She has a birthday coming up, so it makes it really easy to like pick stuff up because I just do like a gift bag full of fun stuff for her. Some of these will probably go in there too. I did already pick up the panda bear, but I wanted one for my daughter, but then I want one for um, a gift as well. But his name, in case you didn't see it the first time, is Bamboo. Oh my gosh. Um, these are the Thai Squishaboos. So that's the little tag, but oh my gosh, how cute is the little panda. And then these I hadn't seen yet. So we have a little owl. And the owl's name is Pinky. How cute. And then we have another little kitty cat. There was one other kitty cat that I had already hauled. And then this one's name is Heather with the cute little rainbow. So these are going to be um, a birthday gift for Lorelei. This one has two different color eyes. Oh my gosh. These things are precious. So super excited to find Ty at the Dollar Tree. Speaking about stuffies, this came from the plus section. So they do have a bunch of toys over there called Toy Box branded. Some of them are so cute. Um, this guy was $5. This I'm doing a little package to my niece that lives in California because she loves the Mingos like I love the Mingos. And I was hopeful to find a stuffy. So I have this one right here. This came from Dollar Tree too as well, the plush um, or the plus section. My husband picked that up for me one time when we were looking for the we we're looking for the Easter bunnies is what we were looking for the um, peeps and he found that brought it home for me but um, then I found this one which is super cute like how cute would this be like sitting in my tree but I'm gonna send this to my niece in California so now I think this is the last thing and I was waiting to be able to haul it so that I can fill up her box because this is gonna take up a lot of room and then I'm gonna pack everything else around it for Lorelai I picked this up she's been really big in the cow print 
And so I thought she might like this to do with some of her school supplies. It says make your own magic. She's doing a messenger bag to take to and from all her classes. This is a nice little small one that she can put like her main pencils in or, you know, however she decides that she wants to organize it. This is um, listed as a pencil case. <coughs> you can also use it if you'd like as like a makeup brush case. This would actually be great for a makeup brush case because it's that plasticky material on the inside and it'd be easy just to wipe down with like a makeup remover cloth to clean it out and it wouldn't get all stained up because it's plastic. These would be so good for that now that I am thinking that out loud. Um, for like traveling and stuff, you just toss them all in here. Okay, I might see if I could find the other one. I like the one that's all you need is love. Uh, but this is the make your own magic and then they have the sports one and a kindness one, I think. So they have four new little brands out for school supplies. but. Um, got that for her because I just thought she would like it. Then I was wandering through the kitchen section and these were new to me. I have now since, when I found them, I didn't see them on anybody's hauls, but I've since seen Mari from Everything Mari. She found them as well in her stores, but they are reusable veggie bags. So it says they're washable polyester. You get four. Okay, so it's a five pack. That's why I was confused. So it says right here you get five of them. But for those five, you get four of them are 11 by 14. And then one of them is 6.75 by 6.75. You know what? Let's, I'm very curious. So I know what these are used for are going to be, I have scissors over here, to, um, instead of getting like the little flimsy plastic bags in your produce department, you're going to pick, take these instead as reusable bags and pack up your vegetables in these. And it's good for the environment. Less, let's see on the back it tells you, I just threw that one on the floor. Reduce and reuse, less waste. It's machine washable, earth friendly, and a breathable, breathable fabric. Okay, so they all come in one little small one, like this little guy. And it says natural home brands on here. So he's just a little teeny one. And then you get the four of them, I assume are all gonna be bigger. They all have different colored strings too. So this one has a red string, a white string, a blue string, and a black string. And if you're trying to keep like your stuff organized, and they're like this size. So my husband is all about using the plastic bags with his produce, I never really have been. But um, this way, like if we wanted to use these instead, we have this option. I will be honest though, I tend to order a bunch of my groceries from Walmart delivery now because I got that and it is so convenient. So I don't go to the store nearly as often. So I'm gonna keep a set in my car for when I go to the grocery store because I do like to go pick up my own produce. I'm gonna see if I use them, if I feel like I need more, and then if I don't need more, then I'm gonna probably gift these somewhere because I think those are great. <clears throat> I picked up a new cookbook. It's called Clean and Healthy Made Easy. It's just one of the ones by Crown Jewels. They have a bunch of different um, recipe books that are just lightweight and small. Let's see, I found watermelon sorbet, half veggie burgers. So you mash lent lentils and add it to your meat. And then it's a half veggie burger. That's cool, smart way to add in some vegetables. What else do we got? We got smoky tilapia tacos, love fish tacos, and broccoli shrimp stir fry. So just some random little lean and healthy recipes. Broccoli apple salad, Mexican street corn, love street corn. How do they make it healthy? They use mayo, but only four tablespoons. Maybe that's how. So pick that up just to do some at home cooking in a healthy way, because why not? Oh, I picked this card up, so it's nowhere near my husband's birthday, but I thought that the card was funny because I am constantly telling my husband that I just, I know him. I can predict what he's going to say. I can predict how he's going to respond. I could just predict him, you know, you know, you just, I just know him like a book. And so this one says, happy birthday from your wife who knows you like a book. And then it says, and loves you from cover to cover. Um, so it's a happy birthday one. So I might try to put something else here and then just do it as a I love you card because I do like to just, you know, randomly give cards. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, that's what I might do. I might try to cover this in some way, put a sticker on it or something, and then just give it as an I love you card to him because 
I was just recently saying that to him and then I saw the card so it cracked me up. Let's see what else. I have some fun stuff from the like makeup -y section and that kind of area. Picked these up to have them just in the house. They are the Unilever, no, Kotex, U by Kotex, clean and secure panty liners, longs. They're wrapped, absorbs instantly. Yeah, they're just panty liners. You know, when you know, you know, like sometimes they're just good to have on hand. I found another one of these. Um, it is the Hemp Lip Naturals. I did pick up the strawberry flavor. Um, really liked it. To me, it smells like a starburst, like a strawberry starburst. This one is the mint flavor, and I love Burt's Beeswax. Burt's, Burt's Beeswax because it's minty, and so I thought maybe this one would really give that vibe. Um, it contains hemp, coconut, and other natural oils, vitamin E and aloe, beeswax formula, twist up euro stick. So grabbed that because I did like the first one. I got this because. Um, I love my Ioni tweezers. This one is the same but slightly different than the set that I've already picked up. And I'm always, I feel like searching for my tweezers. They typically stay in my makeup bag and then um, they're at the bottom and then I'm like, I don't want to dig. So where's another set of tweezers? And so I got these to just kind of keep outside of my makeup bag. And also like when you have a splinter and stuff, I don't want like my makeup tweezers. I don't know. So I grabbed those because I really like, what I really, really like about them is like the little fingerprint thing right there I think that it's really great so picked another one of those up I found these these were new to me they are dream big kids 24 pack of press on fake nails no glue needed um, Lorelai likes to do fake nails or she also likes um, her mom has been doing I don't know if it's an acrylic I don't know what it exactly is but like doing like fake nails on her but I thought maybe in the in-between time if she wanted to do a set she could use these. They have like the tie-dye nails on them and then the pastel -y colors, which has really been her jam lately. So I thought she might like that. We'll see. And I was looking for these. They are the little scrunchy, scrunchy brand little rubber bands. Um, they come in a little bag. You get a hundred of them. But I love it that they come already in this little bag. And you can just see that they're thicker than the Dollar Tree brand ones. So they're going to just have a little bit more oomph to them not that I have a lot of hair and the only time I ever use them is when I have my friend French braid my hair for me and I do them at the end because I have thin hair so the end of my braids get real thin but um I just want to have them on hand I guess sometimes I do little ponytails and stuff so I, I use them and I was looking for those I know I wish I would have picked up two um but I was excited to find those I picked this up from the men's department it is post shave instant nick care so it dries clear, no tissue needed. So if you nick yourself shaving, this is supposed to work to help stop the bleeding. Now, I don't shave my face. I don't think I have a mustache. Let me know, I guess. But um, I think I'm good. But I do shave my legs, and, um, and sometimes I have a blemish on my face that you know if you just do it right, it bleeds a little bit. So I thought that this would be good just to have on hand for that to try for the blemishes and or for if I get myself shaving, which every so often, every so often you just get yourself. So I thought that that would be nice to have on hand. <clears throat> I found another Freeman face mask randomly. I know these have already gone around. <coughs> Ugh. It's like just in the back of my throat, one little tickle that just constantly gets me. Um, so this one is deep clearing the Manuka honey and treaty oil clay mask and cleanser. It says it instantly deep cleans, absorbs oil without over drying. So it is a dual action mask for oily slash breakout skin, which is me. And so I thought that I would give that a try. Um, cause why not? You know, whenever you can give something a try, that's smells good. It's dry right here on the end, so you can tell that it's a clay mask. But I love, I love clay masks. They are my jam. So I was happy to find that one. And then to go along with that, I picked up some facial sponges. I've been wanting to give my face like a little bit more exfoliating. Um, and I don't know if I ran out of, I saw them and I thought to myself that I needed them. So I picked up these, you get a two pack. One of them is charcoal infused, this one, and then there's a regular white one in the back. Um, they are pretty harsh, so you have to be mindful when you're using them and don't use them very often because 
they are a little abrasive, but every so often I just feel like I need to give my face like, you know, that little bit of exfoliator. Um, at one point my husband was with me. He grabbed a receipt book um, for when we need it. And so you get the carbon copy and the regular copy and just a book of receipts, including an extra top half apparently of one that didn't get cut right. So, um, yep, grabbed those just to have them. We are almost done and then I get to do my happy meal, which I'm super excited about. I think, oh, a couple more makeup-y things down here and then I have a few toys and we're good. I picked up a toothbrush. These are, oh, it's medium. Okay, I won't use this one. These Colgate ones are one of my favorite, but I don't typically use the uh, medium. I use soft. So I accidentally picked up medium, um, but I do like these um, Colgate toothbrushes a lot. So I grabbed that. I picked this up. It is a soothing body oil. And I, the reason I grabbed it is because it's pink pineapple and grapefruit, both of which I love those scents. And since it's a body oil, it tells you after a shower or bath, apply three to four drops to clean skin while still damp, smooth on a few drops to help seal in the moisture, and then you let it seal or let it dry naturally. I am curious the smell. So we're gonna sniff it real fast. So I don't know how you're telling you to do drops because it's a spray bottle. Oh, and you can tell that it's an oil because it's leaked out a little. So it smells good. It smells nothing like pink pineapple or grapefruit. To me, it smells like cotton candy, like really sweet. I can see why they put them in these bags because she oily, she leaking. I'm glad that it was in that bag. Nice, feels nice but it doesn't smell at all like pink pineapple or grapefruit. Um, speaking of pink pineapple, we'll see if this smells. It is a foaming mask, um, restoring pink pineapple foaming mask, vitamin infused. I don't do a lot of masks. I have problematic skin, so I try to be mindful, but I think an every so often mask is okay. And something about the pink pineapple just got me, because if you don't know, I love pineapples and flamingos. Um, and anything like pink and stuff. So grabbed that because I thought it would be fun. And then I grabbed this too. It is a lash comb. And so I watched, um, <clears throat> why can I not think of her channel? She is awesome. She's from Texas. She tests out Dollar Tree items all the time. I lost me. Um, but I watched her. She compared this to a name brand one. She has a lot of comparisons and I love it. And, um, I can picture her. Vivian. Vivian tries. <coughs> so um, she tried it. She said it's great. It's exactly like the name brand ones. So you do your mascara and while I think while it's still wet, you could probably do it when it's dry. You comb through them and it spreads out your lashes so they look really nice because it is like a little comb in there. Um, and so that's what you do with that. So I'm going to give it a try. I've never tried that before. All right. A few toys, which of course includes Hot Wheels. So anytime I see Hot Wheels, I grab the ones that I want. This one is just going to go in my donation. It's a Dodge Durango. I picked these up a while back because um, it reminds me of our car that we took on our road trip. Um, but I have an extra. And so I'm going to put that in donations. It's going to go probably to the Ronald McDonald House because that's what I'm working on. This one is the green speed. I always pick those up. It's a Porsche Panorama Turbo S E-Hybrid Sport Turismo. It looks kind of like a station wagon or a wagon style, but it's one of the electric cars. I keep picking those up for fun. And then another Sweet Rides. I can't remember if I have this one or not in red. I think I picked it up in green. But I'm trying to pick up all the Sweet Rides from this current collection. There's five of them. So I need to go do a check of which ones I have and don't have. And I can do it by number. And then I know what number I'm watching out for. And that'll help my brain. No, because I always forget which ones I pick up. All right, and then just last few items is I picked up some Warheads Sour Gum. You get 20 pieces, so there's one, two, three, four packs. So they each have five sticks. There's green apple, blue raspberry, watermelon, and watermelon in there. So um, my son, he loves Warheads and the sour stuff. And so I grabbed this for him. I will probably add it to one of his birthday gifts because his birthday is at the end of September and it's coming close. So I'm putting stuff to the side for him and Lorelai for their birthdays. 
I grabbed this because I thought it was really fun. I'm going to see if Eric wants to do it. It's a 3D art pirate ship. They have a few of them out and I've picked them up, but it's like a foam puzzle, easy build kind of thing. But look how fun that that would build into. He used to be super, super into pirate ships and regular ships and all the thing ships. And he just goes through his likes and he's kind of back into liking his boats again. So I thought maybe he'd have fun with that. And then I thought this was a cute little book. It's the um, Ever After High. And this one is The Secret Diary of Apple White. So it reminded me kind of a Snow White. And um, which I think isn't the ev after Ever After High about the kids of princesses maybe. I don't remember. But I thought that that was a cute book. It was regular price $9.99. When you picked it up at Walmart, it was $8.48. And I got it at Dollar Tree for $1.25. So grab that. <clears throat> All right, that is my haul, guys. But now I have some happy mail from my friend Connie. She is awesome, like super awesome. I have um, a book for you that I still need to send out. Oh my gosh, I have to send so much stuff out. I've been really bad about it. Um, I'm actually going to Iowa, so my next two hauls on Thursday and Saturday are going to be pre-recorded. I'm recording them after this because Lorelai and I are going to Iowa for um, our youth group, a thing that's like international, not international, international, United States. And so, um, so yeah, I will be pre-recording so that my content still comes out to you. It's a hi, and then... Um, she said she's finally getting these to me, saw them and thought of me, and talked about my Barbie dinner. So, um, super fun, thank you. And what I can see on the top is they are amazing. <clears throat> oh my gosh, these are so cute. So they are towels and they're flamingos. You know what really makes me excited is I will probably save these and hang them in my bathroom because I'm gonna be doing my bathroom in flamingos and this will be perfect for that and so they don't get all dirty in my kitchen <gasps> how cute is that one? Oh my gosh I don't know I can't tell which one I like more because then there's this one which I love the color it says let's flamingo I love the color of this one and the leaves can you see the leaves and then this one says think pink I think I think that's what it, yes ah so cute think pink oh my gosh thank you Connie I love them honestly I think I will save one and put it in my bathroom this one I feel like I, I can see it in there this one may be two though but I want to put them in there as decorative not as use because I don't want them to get messed up and then this one I'll put in my kitchen with my kitchen towels for the summer oh my gosh thank you thank you thank you I appreciate it so so much I love them. I don't know where you picked them up from, but they are awesome and very plush and soft too. So, all right guys. Oh, mainstays. That one came from Walmart. I know my tags. That one I don't. Oh, JCPenney. Man, you collected these. I have not been in a JCPenney's in forever. I actually have one so my close. I just never go. And another one, I should, I should check them out because I haven't gotten into a JCPenney's in forever. All right guys. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Connie. I have a tickle on my nose, sorry. It's part of the, ugh. Um, like I said, you'll be seeing um, a pre-recorded couple of hauls coming up. I have one overflowing bag. It's stuff that I picked up for Lorelai's birthday party. So it's going to be a lot of spa type stuff coming up in the next two hauls because I'm going to separate it out into two for you um, for Thursday and Saturday. So come back then. It's going to be a lot of the fun stuff from their um, like what bathroom section. Um, hair, skin, nails, I don't know. <coughs> and party. There's some party stuff too. So come back to see me for that one. I hope you're having a wonderful start of your week. I can't see, wait until I see you next time. Um, and hopefully I have safe travels, but um, you'll hear about that on Tuesday because I come back early on Sunday. My flight flies out really early on Thursday. My flight leaves Colorado at 640 and we have to be to the airport like two hours before which sounds terrible. So I have to leave my house at like 4.15 to get to the airport. And then uh, when I fly home, my flight leaves from Iowa at 5.30. I don't know what their airport looks like, how far in advance I have to get there, but it's gonna be terrible because I'm not a morning person. Um, but anyways, that's a little bit about what I have coming up in my life. I can't wait until I see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.